All right, this one's going to be on Dragon. It's a drag and drop program. It's a GUI, but it's terminal friendly, kind of like Xclip, Xelec, and all that. Uh, so this run is just called Dragon. And, um, you know, the, the, the thing with this is that if you're already at your shell and you want to, you know, access that file and drag it to, you know, another program like GIMP, your image editor, um, you know, your video editor, or even your web browser, how would you do that? Because uh, the scenario is that, let's say if you're at a web browser and you know they tell you to upload something, generally you have to like browse uh, directories and subdirectories just to get to the path that you're already at your shell at, right? Um, so it's kind of annoying to, you know, use this when you're already at your shell at that location. So how does this one work? So if you do dragon, uh, we'll use the Xena picture here. And basically, uh, you just drag it now. Look at this. Right? And then you don't have to use their, um, you know, you don't have to use their little web browser thing to browse to that location when you already have it on your shell. So that's how that works. Really simple. And the thing with this program, if you wanted to, um, well, the one that we just did was the Xena one here, right? And that one's like one image, but if you want to have multiple images, uh, depending on you know whatever the thing is, but if you want to do multiple images, um, you can do that too. So for example, we have Xena, we have this condor, we have the 58 here, right? So you can do three images, and so by default here, um, you have to drag it one at a time. And you see, it's kind of annoying too. Like if you drag one. Um, it disappears to the background because it doesn't have an always on top feature. Uh, I'm not sure why they don't have the always on top because this program, that's like common sense, you know, you need this one to be always on top. So I actually wrote a script to um, have it always on top. Uh, this one's just called Dragon's Word. And so what it does is that it will use um, WM control. And W control allows you to, you know, um, have a window always on top. So that's what we're gonna use here. So we'll use the same thing, but we're gonna call Dragon Zord, right? And we'll clear this one out again. How do we clear this out? Let's refresh it here. So we can do Dragon Zord now, right? So whenever I uh, click on anywhere else, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. This one will always be on top. So if I can drag this in here, right? Drag it again, drag it again. Now another um, thing annoying with that is that you have to drag one at a time. Well, they do have some other options in here where you don't have to do that. So we'll do um, Dragon's Word here. And we'll do a dash H here. And they do have, what is that, drag all files at once. So you can use a dash A and you can also exit at the same time, which is generally what you wanna do is drag all and exit at the same time, right? So how do we do that here? Uh, basically the same thing, but we're gonna do, uh, what was that, dash A, dash X, right? And now, uh, this one will always be on top, even if you accidentally click on anywhere else, doesn't matter. But now if you drag it once, uh, it'll put all the three of them at the same time, and it'll exit out of the program, so that's the you know general usage uh, probably 99% of the time when people are using this they're gonna drag it to you know your image editor or your video editor or uh, you know your web browser and then you want to do it all at once uh, so that's the scenario that 99% of the people are gonna use this for they do have some other options in here like this target here um, which it might be interesting if they actually did something with it, but uh, it doesn't really work with all the programs. Let me show you an example here. So if I do, um, what was that, Dragon Zord here? If I do a target, all right? So this one, um, give me some examples here. So we got some images here, and this one is always on top. So if I drag it in here, it's supposed to, you know, output, um, a text um, thing, but it doesn't work with the web browser. And if I tried that with the um, 
GUI, you know, file manager here, um, it will do something, right? It will just give me the list of whatever I just dragged in, but uh, it doesn't actually do anything. You have to actually write your own script to, um, I guess, a case statement or something like that, where you say, you know, if this is a JPEG, do this, send it here, whatever it is. So, I mean, it could be useful, but it doesn't really work with all programs. Like I just, you know, mentioned that it doesn't uh, work with your web browser. It might be like maybe it works with Firefox, but not Chromium or something like that. One of those, um, you know, issues. But uh, for right now, kind of useless. <laughs> um, yeah, so I only use it for the main purpose that I show you uh, just for, you know, dragging and dropping to different programs, whether you're using a, you know, image editor, a video editor, or your web browser. I mainly just use it for, you know, uploading images or uh, uploading YouTube videos. Um, that's about it for the program. Now, the, another issue with this is that um, it's called Dragon, but, uh, you know, there's a, I think a KDE uh, media player called Dragon already. So it might be a different name depending on distributions or, you know, however you want to do it. But, um, you know, um, the main program or the, you know, the default name is just Dragon. So if you have it on a different distribution, it might be called X Dragon, it might be called uh, Dragon Drag and Drop, um, different names for it. But um, if you're going to do change it, um, you know, using the script here, you want to change out, you know, all the, the thing that has Dragon in it and put the name that you compiled it, however your distribution does it. And uh, you can use the script here called Dragon Zord, and it will actually have always on top by default, which I really think they should just add that by default anyways. That'll be for this one.